Hey guys, welcome to another Tanika Talks video. This is simply a chatty get ready with me. I'm going to be playing with some makeup, new and old, creating this look here and chatting about what has been going on in the last month or so. If you wanna watch the last video, I will link it down below. Otherwise, if you're new to my channel, feel free to have a look around and subscribe. You can also come follow me on Instagram. I'll have that link down below. All right, well, let's get straight into it. So this is what we're starting with. And as you can see, my skin is really red at the moment. So I'm gonna need an anti-redness primer. So I'm going in with my favorite, the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. I swear it's always my favorite products and the ones that I use all the time, but I can never remember the names of. So how's everyone been or what's been going on? The last month for me has been kind of busy, mostly been working. This month we had Easter and Anzac Day, so we had quite a lot of public holidays, which it's really great having a few extra days off, but man, does it stuff up my routine. All right, so that primer has really helped. I'm now going to go in and do some extra color correcting. So today I'm using my Australis Color Click Concealer. <laughs> I just picked up a pen to blend out my... <laughs> oh gosh. For foundation, I'm going to take a little bit of a concoction. I want to use my Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade 100, which is a bit too light for me. So I'm going to mix it with my Maybelline Superstay in the shade True Ivory. This is the lightest shade that's available in Australia and it's far too dark. I also want a little bit of a glow because my skin is a little bit dry around some breakouts. So I'm going to also take my MAC strobe cream. So yeah, as I said, there have been a few public holidays. Clinton and I did plan to go camping over the Easter long weekend, but typical, it pissed down rain for those entire four days. So we didn't end up going, which was a real bummer. We literally stayed at home for four days, watched Netflix. We did a puzzle actually, which was really good. So this puzzle, right? My mom got it for Clinton and I like years and years ago and it's just been sitting in our cupboard. We finally got it out and the picture on the box isn't actually what the picture is you're trying to make. Crazy, I know. So there's a man circled on the box and you have to recreate what he is looking at. So you get a little bit of a clue, like you can kind of see the people in front of him, the color of their outfits, but then you've just got to guess the rest. And oh my God, it was so hard. We end up cheating and Googled the image. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm just going in with my Fenty concealer. This is in the shade 110. I still have really mixed feelings about this. I don't know. I'm just gonna use it. So anyway, if you're interested, these puzzles are called Was Jigs and it's just jigsaw backwards. Really, really challenging. Like even though we cheated, it was still hard. So I don't know if that just means we're kind of stupid, but it was fun anyway. And you just feel so accomplished when you finish a puzzle, you know? Oh, you can tell I'm getting old. Okay, I'm just setting really lightly under my eyes with my model's prefer powder. And then I'm going to go in a little bit heavier and set my nose area. I'm also going to set my cheek area with the sponge and the powder. I'm not going to set much around my mouth or my chin today because of my breakouts, it is quite dry. So I don't want to emphasize that with powder. All right, well, moving on from puzzles, let's get onto eyebrows. I'm using my Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. This is a brand new one, ready to go. I got my brows henna tinted again, but this girl went a little bit more natural with the shape, I would say. I don't know, I think I liked the first girl the first time, she did it better. But either way, brows are just so much easier to fill in when they're tinted. Then I'm going in with my MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint Pen. You should all know by now, this is a new holy grail of mine. 
I'm nearly out. I really need to get another one. And then in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel to give them a little bit of texture and set them in place. For my eyeshadow today, I'm not going to go too crazy. I've got a few things to do after I film, so I don't want to be going out in full crazy glam. Although I do do it sometimes. I'm just using my e.l.f. concealer to prime my lids and carve out my brows. If you didn't see my e.l.f. concealer review, I will link it down below. Oh my god. This stuff, amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, lids are primed and set. I'm just going to go in with some neutral shades from my Makeup Geek palette. And then I've got this Stila, I don't know, what, what's it called? Ah, uh, it's the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. I know there's like Shimmer and Glow. I think there's a few other ones. But anyway, this is the Glitter and Glow in the shade Bronzed Bell. So after putting some light colors in my crease, I'm going to put this over my lid. So recently I went and watched the musical The Book of Mormon. It is in Brisbane at the moment. So one of my friends, it is his favorite musical of all time. So he was like, you've got to come see this with me. I didn't really know what to expect. Apparently it's written from the creators of South Park and I was never allowed to watch South Park as a kid. I wasn't even allowed to watch The Simpsons. <laughs> South Park, as if. If you've seen the musical, I think you would understand what I'm saying. Like, don't get me wrong, the production of the musical was absolutely amazing. All the singing, all the dancing, everything was just jaw dropping. But when it got to this one particular song, when they arrive in Africa, as I said, if you've seen the musical, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It just, it was a bit uncomfortable. I'm just going to take a brush and dip that onto the applicator of the Stila product because I don't want it to be super opaque. And I'm just going to lightly tap that over the blank part of my lid. Because that Fenty concealer does crease quite badly on me, I'm going to go for a really smoky lash line. You know, kind of cover it up a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, finish the other eye off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, eyes are done. I mustn't have set this lid properly because it just did not blend, it's patchy, it looks terrible. This eye looks all right though. All right, moving on to bronzer, and I have a new one here. This is the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer, and I have the shade Inda Sun. Now, I am filming a review on this one, so it will be up soon. I'm not gonna to give too much away. Moving on to blush now, I'm just going in with my fave, the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coral. So I think in my last Get Ready With Me, I mentioned that we were looking for a celebrant. Well, we end up booking one. Oh my God, it was actually so much easier than I thought. I'm in this bride's page on Facebook and they actually did an article with the 10 best celebrants for the area that I'm getting married in. So that saved me literally all the research. I took that list, I emailed them all, and we end up meeting with two. The first celebrant, which we actually went with, was just so amazing. Like, she was so friendly, she understood us, our sense of humor, she got our vibe for the wedding. It was just, oh, perfect. She was the most expensive though, so I was like, okay, like, I love her, but let's see what the next one's like. So then we get to our meeting with the next celebrant, and literally within Five minutes of being there, I could tell it's not, no. It was gonna be a no. Like, she was a really nice lady, but she was a little bit older and just very traditional, so it just wasn't our style. And her personality as well, like, I don't know. You just vibe with some people and you don't with others. So like, she made us a drink and we sat down, and then for the first, 10 minutes, she didn't ask us how we met, how long we've been together, 
she didn't ask anything about us. She sat there and talked about herself and her wedding and how bad her celebrant was. Like, I don't mean to sound selfish, but I'm like, we're here to talk about us and our wedding. Like, fair enough if you want a little bit of input about your wedding back and forth, but it was just her talking straight. And Clinton and I just sitting there going, oh, 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 like, no. By the way, that highlighter I just used was the Fenty Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So I found it really uncomfortable. We ended up being there for like 40 minutes. At one point she got up to go inside and grab me this magazine or something. And I was trying to make eye contact with Clinton to like communicate like, you know, and he just would not look at me. He was staring off into the backyard and I was like, I know you're not looking at me for a reason. Like I could, I knew what he was thinking as well, but he didn't want to make that eye contact with me because I think we may have laughed or, uh, you know, we didn't want to insult her to like in her house kind of thing. For lipstick, I'm using this one by MAC. It's in the shade photo. So yeah, she was the cheapest option. I was hoping she would work out, but unfortunately it was a no. So I just emailed her and let her down gently. Whenever I wear a dark lipstick, I like to just go in with a little bit extra blush so that I don't look completely washed out. All right, I'm just going to spray everything with my Flower Beauty Seal The Deal Hydrating Setting Mist. All right, and I'm just going to do my hair as well. Let's get this mess out. I washed it last night, so it's nice and fluffy. Well, it's not nice. I actually just tie that up. I'm just going to give it a bit of a spritz with some water. So yeah, Celebrant is now booked in and ready to go. She is so cool. She's going to help us write our vows as well. We want to keep them secret from each other. So it'll be good having her as like the mediator. Next on my list, I want to book a band. I'd really prefer a band for the reception. So we'll see how much they are. <laughs> So then I'm taking this Kristen S Sea Salt Air Dry Spray. I picked this up the other day. I usually use a sea salt kind of texturizing spray when I want my hair to be super curly, but I found the one I was using was just leaving it a little bit too crunchy. So I've tried this out once and my hair still felt really soft. So let's give it another go. All right, well, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know something that's been happening in your life over, this over the last month. Whew, too many words at once. I'll list all the makeup I've used down below as well, just in case you missed anything. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.